Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, my buddy Ben over at History Hound Detecting had put up a video showing off some t-shirts he had made by the guys at Detectees. And uh, I thought that was really cool, so I got in touch with Ken to see about getting a design made up for my channel. This is what he came up with. I'm really happy with it. For the logo, he's got my 1861 Double Eagle with a detector and shovel crossed in the background there. Now, these are really good quality. Um, nice big heavy duty hoodie he sent me out as well. You can get these in a wide range of colors and wide range of sizes, I believe all the way up to a 5X. So uh, anyway, I thought I'd do a little giveaway. To the winner, I'm not only gonna give you one of my t-shirts, but I'm gonna let you pick out one of whatever other design of t-shirt you want off the Detectees website. You can get one of History Hound shirts if you want. So winner gets two t-shirts. And to enter, all you need to do is be a subscriber to this channel. Go over to the Detectees website and have a look around. I'm gonna put a link to that down below and then come back over here and leave a comment. We'll come back in about a week or a week and a half and let uh, random.org pick a winner. As far as detecting goes, I really haven't been getting out a lot lately with uh, with a recent time change. When I get off work, it's already pretty much close to dark, so not a lot of time left. But I did get a couple of decent finds recently. I actually got that at Wendy's in my change. It's a 1905 V nickel. And I uh, did get out to the honey hole for about 45 minutes with the Equinox and the little six inch coil. That clip's coming up next, so stick around for that. A really choppy one there. Sound like it's all that deep. Found it a whole lot better now that it's out of the hole. Let's see what we got. Ah, there we go. It's a silver dime. Well, the water bottle's empty. Looks like it's gonna be a Merc. Nineteen eighteen, I believe. <laughs> 